one of the girls, one of my sisters, Lady G, um, Celia Arias, she basically spotted me in the distance on Stone Circle um, and she actually come up with the name Tutti Frutti. I used to wear a lot of African prints and a lot of colourful headscarves. Um, <laughs> But I was kind of, I was tripping, I did acid at Stone Circle and I was tripping and I was, it was actually I had a lot of negativity that I was releasing but also I feel like I was actually evolving really into this, this Tutti Frutti character at the time. I was just, I mean I never actually say to anyone what my, my official name is, um, I always like to be called Tutti. <laughs> This is Tutti Frutti London, it's actually the clown ladyboy hair sculptor. But when I say ladyboy, um, it doesn't just mean this is a salon for, you know, um, queer and trans. Ladyboy, just to be clear, is a salon for everybody. It's ladies, it's boys, and that's why I've spelt B-O, boy, is B-O-I, so it's just, it doesn't offend at people, and it's just, it's for everybody. It's a non-judgmental salon, and you can come in here and you can get any hairstyle you want, and, you know, it's, it's totally comfortable space. and. <laughs> I've tried to persuade Antonio to become a hairdresser, but she won't. She doesn't want to spend that much time with me. She's basically trying to avoid me now. So <laughs> we, but Tony's been a massive part of um, creating this salon. We work together on it, but I don't. I don't do the hair. So I do the mainly just the visual side of Tutti Frutti Salon. Mm. Um, yeah, I think clown probably comes from um, my childhood when I was a kid. Um, my my mum, she always used to make me clown costumes, so I don't take life too seriously. And I definitely feel like our lives just we, we are just clowns, you know. And, and everyone responds really well to it. Mm. And everyone loves how just expressiveness generally just goes down so well. I think when it's pure, clown has always come from a personal journey, but then yeah. it's like crossed roads with lots of other movements, you know, the big colour tribe that we have and yeah. all of our sisters. Yeah, I mean, House of Sequana is actually our tribe. We're performing later on. Well, she's performing, I'm doing the makeup, but... We have our own art, art project um, called Candy Conk. We create like, video arts and um, performance. Mm. When I was living in Portsmouth, um, I definitely felt really trapped. It, as soon as I come to London, um, just I literally exploded because, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it, it can be who you want here. And I think that no one judges you here, especially in Deptford, actually. So I didn't have any money, so I was just like, oh, I'm going to get a caravan. I converted it into a hair salon, which is, it looks similar to this. Um, it was in Tidemore School. The guardianship allowed me to have my caravan there. We lived there as well. We actually lived inside the school. And then uh, we actually had to get out because they're converting it into horrible flats. Because the school's gone now, it feels like a part of our, us has actually gone because it's going to make me emotional. But um, <laughs> as soon as that, Literally, we were evicted from there. We saw the sign in the window, so it was a bit of a, a blessing. I used to walk past his shop every, like, nearly every day, and I'd always say, "This is going to be my shop one day." And it's always been a barber shop. I mean, it was, it was quite hideous the way it was decorated inside, but yeah, it was falling um, to pieces. I really liked it. <laughs> it had its charm. You, know, you get a day where you'll have someone really like colourful, really creative, and like mm. maybe an older local Deptford person, and they're like chatting away. It's really nice. Mm. So I have a lot of sort of older ladies that come in, and then guys as well, and they just have more classic hairstyles. And then you go from the other spectrum to you know really extreme mm. performers, uh, a lot Big of queer community. people, trans. You know, um, if I'm doing something more extreme, I would probably look at the hair more like a, a canvas rather than someone's hair on their head, you know what I mean? So uh, this is one of the sculpted styles actually. So I've sort of shaved patterns and swirls in the back and you've got different angles going on. I was inspired by just the jungle and just the nature and just where colours come from. Yeah, th that's, that's definitely true. But um, I try, try not to look at too much because I also think it can just get inside cloud, your brain yeah. and cow my, my, my I just want to do my own thing and to be honest a lot of the time um, is I, I seem to, I feel like I get inspired actually just off bouncing off previous stuff that I've done yeah because once you start building your own yeah. visual like language you know you just mm. build from that and then it becomes like this this yeah this world that you build mm. 